Hey guys, it's Patrick Abate. In the last 80 years, a lot of people asked me to do a YouTube video where I show how to play sweep peeking. Uh, it took a little bit, but here we go. <laughs> watching this video I assume you already know what a sweep picking technique is so I'm just gonna say that it is a continuous picking technique to sweep through the strings and uh, I'm gonna show you some examples this is how the right hand works <laughs> I suggest you to use the pick slided like this instead of being straight because you know this is more tough, this is better. And also I suggest to use a pick like this that is not uh, too sharp because if it's too sharp it's gonna give you this effect, it's kinda tough to go through the strings. It's really up to you but you know I suggest at least when you're studying sweep picking to use a, a point like this that is in the middle or something rounded is gonna help you a lot. The, the reason for why I use this is because uh, I prefer to have a little bit uh, of a sharp point on the pick when I have to do alternate picking. But it's, as I said, it's up to you. Remember, you always want to melt the notes together, but you don't want any note to go on top of the others. You don't want to do either this or this. But you want to do this. Your left hand is stopping the strings that are below the one that you're playing. So if you are on the 6th string and uh, you want to play the 6th string, the, the finger number 1 is touching the other strings but is stopping them. So now you can listen only one note even if I'm playing all the strings. This is because the first finger is stopping the other strings and uh, this is what happens on every note that is below the one that you are playing. Now, what happens when you are like on the first string, for example? You have five strings on top of the note that you are playing, so the right hand is gonna stop that strings with a palm. I use this part sometimes of the of the end. It depends, but basically the right hand has to stop the strings on top of the one that you are playing. So if I'm on the first string. And my right hand is stopping the other five, as you can see. So basically you have to calibrate your two hands and when you're doing the sweep peaking, you're moving the whole thing. What the left hand is stopping, so the notes below, and what the right hand is stopping. Once you calibrate this, this technique becomes way easier than you can think. You want to be really relaxed when you're doing this. So you should be at that point where you can even talk to your friends. And I'm really relaxed doing it. So it's just about calibrate the two ends and do the, the things I showed you. It's just about practice. So the first exercise, you take a C chord, use just the first three strings, and uh, you do... But you do this one octave up, so it becomes like this. We start with the 12th fret, and this piece. We're gonna do it with distortion so we can realize if you are clean or not. Mm -hmm. 
So you use the metronome and you start doing one note per beat and we, you do it kind of slow but not too much otherwise you're not really gonna do this technique and so it's gonna be something like this and you, you go faster and faster with the metronome uh, depending on the fact that you're able to do it already or not. Once you know how to do this exercise, uh, you should try to do experiments with the other kind of chords. Uh, I suggest to try like D minor, you know, from this chord. We have the A here, so it becomes. Uh, and this is our show sound. Then you can do A minor. Comes from this. Then you can do A major. Then you can do E major in this chord. Then you can do E minor. Another fingering you can use comes from the diminished chord and is coming from this. If you want you can even do one you can move one tone and a half up and down because it's all the same so it works like <laughs> after you've learned all these fingerings uh, you want to try to mix these chords and see what happens <laughs> After you've learned all these fingerings that are just the basics, uh, you should try to do experiments modifying the fingerings and finding your own licks. I'll show you some examples of how you can modify this. From this, if you move this note back, half step, it becomes this. And then you can move this one, like... Once you've learned how to play these chords on three strings, you can extend them to the fifth and the sixth string depending on the chord. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it. This is C major. D minor. A 
A minor. A major. E major. E minor. say is that many people think that YouTube is gonna give you all the knowledge you need uh, to be a great guitarist and in fact the internet helps a lot um, but at the same time I think that it's very helpful to have a real guitar instructor watching what you're doing and giving you suggestions and helping you fixing things because YouTube is not gonna react to what you do it's just gonna give you some package that is already done I hope the video has been helpful and uh, thanks for watching it. Take care.